Zapraszamy pana profesora Mateusza Gurkowicza. I would like to invite profesor Gurkowicz to take the floor. Prezentacja jest gotowa. The presentation is ready. So please go ahead. Thank you very much. I th I'm very grateful for this invitation. The title of this uh, presentation is The Death of Avant-Garde or Return to the Roots. Well, Avant-Garde movements of uh, the early 20th century were built on economic, political and cultural currents and trends that uh, were changing the concept of the world and changes in the architecture they were considered revolutionary. And uh, as we heard from Professor Gzel, as we heard from other speakers today, actually every avant-garde was revolutionary in a way. All avant-garde movements were marked by the negation of historizing forms and traditional urbanism as an emanation of social oppression. Architecture freed from their baggage was to become egalitarian and the new technology was to favor the mass production of buildings and cities for a modern society. So after the Great War, World War I, was the right uh, for delivery of uh, this uh, ideas uh, with uh, a need for apartments, need for a residential um, architecture, made this uh, residential architecture which seemed the key tissue of the city uh, seemed the most susceptible to these changes and the most revolutionary, both in Western Europe, largely uh, German um, residential settlements, but also uh, in Poland. And its forms, typologies, initially very simple, deprived of retail, and uh, very uh, uh, simple, they were the packaging for the function of a flat. And they evolved. Le Corbusier's uh, uh, machine for uh, living was an avant-garde uh, resolution and it becomes an inspiration for thousands of residential buildings and sometimes an inspiration that was uh, not uh, quite clearly understand uh, or understood um, on the contrary even when we speak about uh, buildings erected in the 21st century. The technological development that we have been uh, observing over the last century, uh, as M Professor Suchowska said, meant that over time all, almost all dreams of architects could be built. Uh, so following the strangeness, ignoring the cost of building and operating the facilities, led to the fact that the social sensitivity of architecture and its useful servitude were lost along the way uh, for the sake of shocking with a form. For a couple of decades, expressionist deconstructive or biomorphic forms alternating with minimalist austere architecture or the so-called new modernism defined the main trends of architecture, considered avant-garde trends of the turn of the 20th and 21st centuries. These works were awarded by international bodies, which also contributed to the noblement of a fairly small groups of the most avant-garde architects, the most important architectural awards, Pritzker Prize and EU Mies van der Rohe Architectural Award awarded in the last few years uh, um, show the rejection of the mainstream of this kind of star architecture by the elite. Cities and private investors decided to employ and hire uh, well-known creators, hoping that their creations will become contemporary uh, 
um, points of attraction, the symbols of modernity um, of uh, the commissioners. However, this contextual arch un un uncontextual architecture of the performance did not always fulfill its uh, goals correctly and contrary to the Bimbao effect did not solve urban problems but created new ways. So, that is connected with limiting unnecessary spending and uh, unwillingness to make ris uh, risky, hasty decisions. So, as a result, we can see some changes. We can see the, the uh, end of the extravagant era in favor of more uh, socially sensitive uh, architecture. So, uh, David Chipperfield received an award for the Chipperfield received an award for the restored Neues Museum in Berlin. Uh, in 2011, but in Pritzker Prize uh, in 2016 went to Alejandro Aravena of Chile. Uh, these awards, as you well know, uh, it's, they are usually granted for lifetime achievement, and so far it has been given to architects with enormous intellectual recognition and then almost uh, all well-known architects, but this time um, again, uh, the um, emphasis was put on the old uh, life works. Uh, the same architect, Alejandro Alavena, also received uh, other awards. Uh, uh, in 2019, the EU Miss van der Rohe Architecture Award, the BDA Grand Prize and Pritzker Prize in 2021. His uh, Quinta Monroy uh, uh, residential housing in state in, in Kike was mainly presented as uh, promoting the architect's work in the architectural press. It was the social creation. The residents themselves could shape, obviously within a certain model that was imposed by the architect. They should create the details and uh, the finishing of their houses. So this way, in his approach to social issues and the mass nature of architectural uh, work, uh, Aravena's uh, work is closer uh, to the fourth modernist avant-garde and the last of the 21st century avant-garde architects appreciated with global awards before him. Successive international awards only confirmed this trend. In 2019, the EU Miss van der Rohe Architecture Award, in 2020, uh, the BDA Grand Prize, and in 2021, the Pritzker Prize went to French architects Anne Lacaton and Jean-Philippe Vassal. The studio specializes in interventions and transformations of the existing urban tissue, often including adaptations of buildings and housing complexes erected in industrialized technologies in the second half of the 20th century. This year's Pritzker Prize, Pritzker 2022, for Diebe Francis Kere from Burkina Faso confirms the trend of seeking contemporary avant-garde in social architecture. So this is not an architectural form. So created largely for local needs and with the participation of local communities. As in the case of the achievements of the aforementioned artists, Aravena and Lacaton Vassal Studio, Keres output, although formally very interesting, is clearly different from the main trends of world architecture that we have observed over the last few decades. It is a low-budget architecture, and inexpensive, in which environmental problems related to climate change and social issues come to the fore. This architecture can be implemented only in broad participation with the local community, its future users. 
One would think that the architectural prizes and awards awarded on the global arena by uh, groups of critics and creators of architecture recognize the most influential creators and then define uh, the concept of architecture and non-architecture. Is it really true? Is that so? Well, architecture basically died in Europe. No one is surprised anymore. And architecture does not bring new contact with it. It seems that the social and environmental involvement of contemporary award-winning artists is closer to the spirit of the avant-garde movement from a hundred years ago. But will their work, however, stand the test of time, as it happened in the case of the achievements of the first modernism? The time will show is that the only avant-garde that uh, when the crisis caused by the war, the pandemic, and the economic difficulties we can afford? Well, time will tell. Thank you.